In this video, you'll learn the basic features of a Tableau worksheet. Your visualizations are created in the worksheets. Now that we have imported the data, clarified our header rows, and checked our data types, we can open a worksheet. Tableau automatically prompts you to go to a worksheet. You can either click on the Go to Worksheet or on Sheet 1 to go to the worksheet. You can add additional worksheets by clicking on the small bar graph icon with a plus sign next to the Sheet 1. Returning back to Sheet 1, we can see that Tableau automatically categorizes our data by dimensions, which again are our categorical, geographical, or string data types, and by measures, our numeric fields. We can change a measure to a dimension by hovering over the data until a green pill appears. This is ter Tableau's terminology. Measures will appear in a green pill and dimensions will appear in a blue pill. So for example, again, our house or apartment number comes back under the measures field and we'd like to move it up to the dimension field. So when we hover over the house or apartment number, we can see the green pill appear and there's a down arrow in the right hand corner. Go ahead and click on this down arrow and from the menu that appears we can do a variety of things we can add it to the sheet we can duplicate the measure and in this case we want to convert it over to a dimension so we can go ahead and convert that over to a dimension the large blank space to the right is known as our canvas this is where our visualizations appear and will be manipulated above the canvas we see our columns field and our row field this is where we'll enter the data that we'd like to visualize. On the left hand side of the columns and rows field, we'll find the pages, filters, and marks options. These are the options for manipulating how your visualization appears. For example, the pages option allows us to control the output display in a page shelf so that we can fragment the view of the visualizations into a series of pages. This is convenient, particularly if you want to present your visualizations in a printed out format. The filters option allows you to filter the data included into what you want to include or exclude from the visualization. This can be very useful if you need to highlight certain data or drill down to a particular level or see how an outlier affects the visualization. The Marks option affords us the opportunity to have the data in our visualization distinguished by color gradients, size gradients, or by adding text through labels or detail. The Tooltips option will display the underlying data and details when a user hovers over a particular mark on the visualization. At the top of the worksheet, we have our worksheet ribbon menu just like we did under our connection file, only now we have a lot more options because now we can use the dashboard and story and analysis, maps, so on and so forth. We also have a show me menu. The show me menu, when you click on it, reveals the different types of visualizations that you can create using Tableau. It also helps you understand what types of data you would need to include in the columns and the rows in order to create that visualization, as we can see down here in the bottom. The recommended data that you will need will change based on the visualization that you are trying to create. Be careful not to be too strict when trying to identify the visualization that's desired for, by someone. For example, Tableau labels the heat map as the visualization provided in the upper middle row. However, someone requesting a heat map may want you actually to display a map, which is the visualization immediately below that. It's easier to clarify the expectations of the client up front so that you can deliver the appropriate visualizations.